In machine learning, one of the fundamental tasks is to measure the similarity or dissimilarity between two probability distribution. One common metric for this is the Jensen-Shannon divergence, which is a measure of how different two probability distribution are from each other. In this video, we'll explain what JST is, how it's calculated, and why it is important in machine learning. JST is a statistical measure that used to compare two probability distributions. It based on kullback labeler or KL divergence, which I've already explained and you can watch it from here, which is a measure of how different one probability distribution is from other. But the KL divergence is not symmetric, means that the result will be different depending on, depending on which distribution is considered as a reference distribution and which is a comparison distribution. The JST is a symmetric version of KL divergence that takes the average of KL divergence between two distribution and their reverse. This means the JST measures the similarity between two distribution regardless of which distribution is considered the reference. To calculate the JST, we take the KL divergence between the first distribution and the average of two distribution and then the KL divergence between the second distribution and the average of two distribution. This average is called Jensen-Shannon divergence. JST is important in machine learning because it's often used as a loss function in generative models such as generative adversarial network. The models aim to generate samples that resemble the original data distribution as closely as possible. JST is used as measure of the difference between generated samples and the original data distribution. Let's understand how it's calculated. Let's consider two probability distribution P and Q. To calculate the JS divergence, we first need to calculate the average of two probability distribution. We can do this by taking the element-wise average of two distributions. Next, we, we need to calculate the KL divergence between P and M and Q and M. So by using the formula for KL divergence, we can calculate the divergence between P and M and then we can calculate in the similar way for the Q and M. Finally, we can calculate the JS divergence by taking the average of KL divergence between P and M and Q and M. And hence, the JS divergence between P and Q can be calculated like this. Therefore, the JS divergence between the two probability distribution P and Q is this. In conclusion, it's a symmetric version of KL divergence that takes the average of divergence between two distribution and their reverse. JST is important in machine learning. By understanding JST, you can better understand the principle behind these models and how they are used in real world applications.